In 2024, Ford Motors faced a significant challenge when they decided to scale back production of their F-150 Lightning, the electric version of their flagship pickup truck. Despite high hopes for the EV market, sales of the Lightning plummeted. A key reason was its higher cost compared to the gas-powered F-150, making it less appealing to many buyers. This wasn't an isolated issue. Affordability remains a major hurdle in the broader push for electric vehicles, EVs, in the United States. With an average price tag of around $55,000, EVs are still out of reach for many consumers, complicating efforts to meet urgent climate goals. One of the largest cost drivers for EVs is the battery, which accounts for nearly 40% of the vehicle's production expense. To address this, Ford explored building a new battery plant in 2023, eyeing locations in Virginia and Michigan. The goal was clear, reduce costs and make their EVs more competitive. However, the plan stirred controversy due to its reliance on technology from Cattle, a Chinese company and the world's largest battery manufacturer, headquartered in Fujian province. The proposal sparked political backlash, particularly in Virginia, where the governor blocked the project, citing concerns over ties to China's Communist Party. Ford's CEO defended the initiative, emphasizing that the plant would operate as a wholly owned subsidiary of Ford. Still, the company was forced to shift its search for a new location, with the project ultimately becoming entangled in the larger geopolitical tensions between the U.S. and China. China's role in the global EV market has grown at a staggering pace. Today, Chinese automakers and battery manufacturers dominate the industry, with over half of all global EV sales occurring in China. This rapid rise has been fueled by strategic investments in battery technology, a crucial component in the success of any electric vehicle. Understanding how China achieved this dominance is key to evaluating whether U.S. automakers can compete without relying on Chinese technology. The Rise of China's EV Battery Industry China's ascent in the EV battery market is rooted in decades of government support. Starting in the early 2000s, the Chinese government prioritized electrifying its vehicle fleet to address two critical challenges, reducing dependence on imported oil and combating severe air pollution in urban areas. The government's vision was clear. Internal combustion engines were not the future for Chinese automakers, and they needed to leapfrog to electric technology. This vision translated into a comprehensive policy framework to nurture what the government called new energy vehicles. Companies receive subsidies for every EV sold, access to cheap land leases, and low interest loans from state-owned banks. Between 2009 and 2022, the Chinese government reportedly allocated $29 billion in subsidies, tax incentives, and research funding for the EV sector. Local governments also played a pivotal role, mandating the electrification of public transit fleets. For example, Shenzhen transitioned its 16 000 bus fleet to electric vehicles supplied by BYD, a company that would go on to become the world's largest EV maker. Such policies not only created an early market for EVs, but also fostered consumer interest. Generous subsidies, preferential parking, discounts on charging, and even special license plates made EV ownership appealing. While initial EV models faced criticism for poor battery performance, the government responded by imposing stricter standards for battery density, pushing manufacturers to innovate. By the time consumer demand surged, China's battery industry was well positioned to capitalize. When foreign automakers like Tesla and General Motors sought to sell EVs in China, Regulations required them to use domestically manufactured batteries to qualify for subsidies. This protected China's battery makers from foreign competition while cementing their dominance. By 2024, over 50% of all new cars sold in China were electric, marking a significant shift in consumer preference. The scale of this transition underscores how government support and early investments helped China become the world leader in EV technology. Controlling the supply chain, Beyond government subsidies, another critical factor in China's battery dominance is its control over the supply chain. Lithium-ion batteries, the most common type used in EVs, rely on four key components, cathodes, anodes, electrolytes, and separators. Producing these components requires critical minerals like nickel, cobalt, manganese, and lithium. Chinese companies have strategically invested in mining operations worldwide 
securing significant stakes in the global supply of these minerals. However, their real advantage lies in refining. Regardless of where raw minerals are extracted, Chinese firms refine the majority of the world's supply, a process that is both resource intensive and environmentally taxing. China also leads in the production of battery components. From cathodes and anodes to the final assembly of battery cells, Chinese factories dominate every stage of the process. This vertical integration, combined with decades of experience in manufacturing batteries for electronics, has given companies like BYD and Keto a competitive edge. In contrast, the U.S. has historically lagged in battery manufacturing. For years, Japan and South Korea were the leaders in lithium-ion battery production, but China has since overtaken them. This dominance is so extensive that when the Biden administration implemented new tax credit rules in 2022, limiting EV subsidies to vehicles with batteries sourced from non-Chinese suppliers, only 20% of EV models in the U.S. qualified. Innovation in battery technology. Chinese companies have not only scaled production, but also driven significant advancements in battery technology. Recent breakthroughs have focused on reducing reliance on expensive materials like nickel and cobalt. Lithium iron phosphate, LFP batteries, which are cheaper and more durable, have gained popularity. CTL, for example, unveiled an LFP battery in 2023 capable of delivering a 370-mile range with just a 10-minute charge. Similarly, BYD introduced the Blade battery, a design that maximizes energy density by optimizing the shape and arrangement of battery cells. These innovations have made LFP batteries a growing segment of the market with nearly all production currently concentrated in China. However, this dominance is beginning to extend beyond China's borders. CATL has opened a battery plant in Germany and plans to expand to Hungary, targeting the European market. In the U.S., Ford partnered with KTL to establish an LFP battery plant in Michigan, a project that has faced political scrutiny but could become a critical step toward domestic EV battery production. The road ahead for U.S. automakers. While the U.S. is making efforts to catch up, the challenges are immense. Building a competitive battery industry will require significant investment. Bloomberg estimates it could cost $82 billion for the U.S. to meet its domestic battery demand by 2030. Government initiatives like the Inflation Reduction Act aim to bolster domestic production. But scaling up will take time. Meanwhile, U.S. automakers must navigate a delicate balance between reducing dependence on Chinese suppliers and offering affordable EVs. As climate change accelerates, the urgency to transition away from fossil fuels has never been greater. Yet the trade-offs between economic independence and environmental imperatives remain a contentious issue. For now, Chinese EV batteries are deeply embedded in the global supply chain, and avoiding them is nearly impossible. Whether the U.S. can build a competitive alternative in time to meet its climate goals remains an open question. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you.